हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर मैथ्स क्लास टुडे वी विल कवर चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन डेटा हैंडलिंग सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डेटा डेटा इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पिक्टोग्राफ टेलीमार्क्स एंड बारग्राफ सो एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाइट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव वेट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव मार्क्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव स्टूडेंट्स दीज ऑल आर इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड विच फॉर्म data and we can represent it so in this chapter we are going to learn how to represent data in the form of table in the form of telemarks table in the form of pictograph so let's start so my dear children if for a class party rashi's group has to bring fruits for the whole class she collects data about the fruits that her classmates like as shown below so these are the data okay information which is given to us we have to show this information with the help of tabular form so what are we going to do is what is given to us we have given the fruits what are the fruits we have written the names and then we have counted how many apples are written so number of children who like apple 5 who like banana 6 so we have counted banana how many bananas are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that's why six bananas are there similarly we have counted uh, how many children likes grapes oranges and guava from this information so this is a tabular form okay this tabular form can further help us to make a pictograph okay pictograph looks like this where a table is formed and the information is given in the form of pictures so let's read this question number 4 read the following pictograph about the favorite holiday destinations of various employees in an office and answer the following questions so what are what is given favorite holiday destination and what are the names masuri shimla manali uti number of employees are uh, shown in the form of pictures where scale matters a lot it is very important what does it tell it tells that each picture is equals to 10 employees so each picture is not equals to one employee but 10 employees so if i ask you how many employees like to go to manali then you have to count the number of sh uh, number of pictures 1 2 3 4 and multiply by 10 that is 40 if i say if i ask you that which uh, destination is liked by the most of the employees then you have to check where in which destination we have the most number of pictures here shimla so shimla is the most liked place of the employees and which is the least least means less less in number so less in number of pictures are here in manali okay so many questions can be answered with the help of pictograph very easily so now how do we form the telemarks students in the previous class also you have seen how do we form telemarks i will tell you in this question suppose we have marks in mathematics of students of class 5 and number of students are given below 30 four students have got the marks below 30 12 students have got the marks between 60 to 70 and so on the information is now if we are asking about writing the telemarks or telemarks table then an additional column will be added to this table so how do we show telemarks 4 number 4 is shown with four standing lines okay number 7 is shown like this 1 2 3 4 and the fifth one is the slanting fifth stroke of the telemark comes across the four lines okay this is 5 and then 6 and 7 9 1 2 3 4 This is five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to tell you about twelve. How do, how does twelve shown? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, what is the purpose of drawing a line across the four lines? Because we can count the number of tally marks easily. So, one group of tally marks is five. Two groups will be ten, and so on. Okay, students. now next type of representation of data is done with the help of bar graph what is a bar graph bar graph is drawn on a graph paper with the help of bars and the length or, or the height of bars tells us some information for example this uh, bar graph is about this uh, bar graph is about the fund collected by schools there are five different schools which has given fund for the flood victims okay 
so look at the height you can tell easily that school d has collected most of the fund the largest fund is collected by school d and look at the height of the bars you can tell easily that school c has collected least fund for the flood victims okay so this information can be told now with the help of an example question number 3 will be done what we have to do using the data of a hotel given alongside construct a bar graph by selecting a suitable scale given appropriate title to the bar graph now different departments are given to you food entertainment housekeeping maintenance other services this these all works are done um, in hotel and what is yearly expenditure how much do they expend spend kitna kharcha ho jata hai unka food maintenance is given on the right hand side now we have to draw a bar graph so that we can understand the information clearly on the x axis this the sleeping line is called x axis and the standing line is called y axis on the sleeping line what do we show we show the names and on the y axis what do we show we show the numbers so here what are the numbers the numbers are in rupees and the expenditure so what do we do we will leave two lines okay from down and then draw an x axis and leave three lines why because we have a large num large digit so we need two boxes for writing each number so we left three otherwise normally we leave two lines only before drawing the y axis now students we start we leave one box okay or you can say one square and then draw the first bar the first bar is about the food how much is the food 3 lakh but before drawing the height of the bar we have to write the scale okay so scale is formed first we will look at the minimum the least number the least number is 50000 and the highest number is 3 lakh okay so now we have to make the scale this way that all the scales come on the y axis now we will start with 50000 agar hum 10000 se start karte the 10000 se 30 that means 3 lakh tak pahunchte pahunchte hame bahut zyada graph bada graph paper chahiye hota that's why what we did 50000 then we have added 50000 50000 ka gap mein humne scale banaya hai 0 to 50000 this point is called 0 then 50000 50000 50000 add karenge 1 lakh 1 lakh plus 50000 is 1 lakh 50000 then 1 lakh 50000 plus 50000 is 2 lakh so ye jo numbers hain wo 50 50000 ke gap mein hain so that, that forms the scale aur hame scale mention zaruri karna hota hai scale is on the y axis so we have written y axis one unit this square is called one unit one unit height is 50000 rupees so we have written this now since food is 3 lakh so humne 3 lakh ke scale ke samne sleeping line kari and then we made a bar then 1 lakh 50000 where is 1 lakh 50000 on the scale here then before drawing the bar of entertainment we have left वन यूनिट हर एक एक यूनिट आपको छोड़ के बार से ड्रॉ करने हैं ठीक है नाउ दिस इज टू लैक वेर इज टू लैक हेयर हाइटली स्लीपिंग लाइन करा एंड देन ड्रॉ द बार नेक्स्ट इज वन लैक वेर इज वन लैक हेयर गो टू दैट हाइट एंड देन ड्रॉ द बार ग्राफ एंड लास्ट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके फाइनली यू कैन कलर द बार इट लुक्स प्रेजेंटेबल इट मेक्स इट प्रेजेंटेबल एंड राइट द टॉपिक्स ऑफ द बार डिपार्टमेंट्स है दैट इज द मेन टॉपिक बेन मेन हेडिंग नाउ जो आपकी सब टाइटल्स है वो आपको यहां पर लिखना है उसके ऊपर अगर अगर अंदर स्पेस है तो अंदर लिखेंगे बट एंटरटेनमेंट इतना बड़ा जो आपका स्पेलिंग है दैट विल नॉट कम इन साइड दिस small bar that is why so this is in complete bar graph remember title is a must for your bar graph okay so yearly expenditure of hotel is given as a title so second last is presentation with the help of a pie chart so pie chart you can see uh, different areas are specified by different topics muffins chocolates wafers patties you read the question you will get the answer very easily so there is a correction also in uh, question number 1 b part how many less muffins you cut more and write less then we have uh, interpretation of line graph line graph mein aapko interpret karna hai which leisure activity is the most liked by the students so jiska height zyada hoga most means hota jiska height zyada hai so this is the uh, top most point and this is playing sports so playing sports is the answer okay so very easily you can do this you will understand this very easily this is a, a type of bar graph only 
so students i hope you will enjoy this chapter do it do get, you can also do the review exercises the revision pages worksheets also of this chapter do it in the book have a nice day students take care